Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at some philosophy fragrances. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you're not, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Let's just get right into it. I'm going to kind of be talking about philosophy like as a whole because I feel like in recent years, I mean, I feel like this is like a moderately like recent or like new company, but philosophy as a brand, I'd say is, I think it's like very indicative of like contemporary teen minimalistic aesthetic. Like it really appeals to um, like that teenage demographic. As for the fragrances, I think that philosophy is very, very hit or miss for me there are a few scents that i absolutely love and then there are also others that i just really am not a fan of i think they're very either juvenile or like bath and body works esque so i think that one area where philosophy kind of falls flat is that it kind of just like enters that realm of like cheap body spray like if someone were to give me like a ysl fragrance and then a philosophy fragrance blindfold me and then like had me smell each one i feel like i would very quickly be able to pick out like which one is designer and which one isn't that doesn't go for all of their fragrances i do think that they have a few that are really really good again i haven't smelled all of them so the one that i really like is fresh cream warm cashmere and i also think this is one of their more popular ones this is also another fragrance that i just like instantly fell in love with when i smelled it at ulta the notes in this fragrance are vanilla coconut cashmere wood sandalwood and musk so it is very simple and again kind of like the target fragrances there there isn't like a top middle base note structure it's just like a much more simple fragrance and it doesn't really evolve over time but this fragrance fresh cream warm cashmere is just vanilla 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 that's like really all i smell i feel like it's one of those few fragrances i think like i think it's called like vanilla extreme i don't know that just like is like straight pure vanilla but yeah this was one of the first fragrances in my collection and i really really love this one it definitely like accelerated my obsession with perfume this just smells like a very warm rich like synthetic vanilla like it's i don't so much see this as like a like vanilla extract or like bakery type vanilla i see it more as like a i don't know i just think it's a little bit more synthetic than that but i do really really love the way it smells and i hate comparing like any fragrances to bath and body works because i really don't like bath and body works and i feel like anytime like i make that association it's like automatically like degrading like whatever i'm reviewing but this is very reminiscent of warm vanilla sugar which is i know is like a super popular scent from bath and body works but this does really really remind me of that okay so the notes for this fragrance are blackberry, vanilla, musk, jasmine, and lily of the valley. So again, another very simple fragrance. This one to me is one of philosophy's fragrances that I am definitely more on the like side. This is not a love for me, but it's also just not bad. And I think this is a really great one for layering. In fact, I feel like all of philosophy's fragrances are like ones that I would layer with other fragrances. But this one, it just smells like berry candy, like just like a soft, sweet really not overwhelmingly sweet just like a sweet berry gummy candy maybe with like a little bit of vanilla in it okay and again i feel like this makes it sound bad but i feel like it kind of smells like baby wipes but like not i feel like there's like different kinds of baby wipes like some of them like growing up i had these like baby wipes around the house that like smelled really like weird and kind of bad but this is like the very 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 nice smelling baby wipes kind of smell really light really powdery overall with the presentation of philosophy I am kind of indifferent. I feel like at their core, they're nice looking, like they're very minimalistic, like there's not much to them. But I think like when every bottle is like identical, but just like with a different label, it gets kind of boring to me. I don't know. As for the boxes, also very, very simple. One thing that philosophy does is that on every, for every fragrance, they have like their philosophy. So it's just like a, like a small, like corny quote. So like the philosophy for falling in love is you must first love yourself. 
Okay, so now let's talk about philosophy's value. Philosophy definitely leans on the more affordable side of fragrances. I don't consider it to be like super, super cheap, but it's definitely nowhere near designer fragrances. I think it's a, a very nice place to start, but I also, and this is kind of like the biggest thing that I feel like I need to address when I talk about philosophy, is that their fragrances do not last. It just completely rains down on the experience for me. Like because of that one factor, because the longevity across like their fragrances is so poor I can't bring myself to really love any of the fragrances or kind of the company as a whole so this is the first one I got that I really fell in love with and when I first sprayed it on within the first 20 minutes I was absolutely in love with this fragrance I could smell it around me on my skin it smelled so delicious and I just felt really really confident but that did not last very long I was going out to a gathering that night and like as soon as I got there, I literally could not smell it. Like I had to physically hold my skin like up to my nose and like inhale my skin to even get like a trace of the fragrance. Maybe I had become a little nose blind in that time, but the projection in the sillage really dies down so quickly with all of their fragrances. This is an Eau de Toilette, so like naturally I wouldn't really expect the longevity to be exceptional, but this honestly is like a body spray. The longevity leaves so much to be desired and especially it's really disappointing for me because this is a fragrance that I love so much. This is one of my favorite smells. This is an Eau de Parfum and even this one I feel like the longevity is noticeably better than the Eau de Toilette but like it's still not great. Like it'll last maybe like two to four hours and then after that it's just like a skin scent. So very very mediocre for even an Eau de Parfum. So I think if you're looking for something that like you can like wear every day, you want it to kind of like last throughout the day, you can like wear it to school, work, whatever. This is not one that I would recommend or at least on its own. But if you, you know, find like one of Philosophy's fragrances that like you really, really like and you're okay with like just like bringing a small bottle with you and like reapplying throughout the day, then I think that these could work really, really well for you. While I do think Philosophy has some nice fragrances, I honestly think it would be just like a lot more economical to invest that into another like cheaper fragrance line like Ariana Grande's. Like I know I talk about her fragrances like so much, but they seriously are at the top of their game. Like they're so good. Their fragrances are really, really, really like the best ce celebrity fragrances by far in my opinion. In that line, even though there are some that not everyone's gonna love, I feel like there is something for everyone and they're all very affordable. They also project and last infinitely longer. I don't think that philosophy fragrances are not worth it. In fact, I think that you do get like a good amount of fragrance for like the price. Um, I definitely think they're worth it if you can get it at like a rack or like a discount store because then they're like really, really cheap and like at, at that point, it's definitely a worthy investment. But I just can't see this as this is not anything that really catches my eye, especially at retail price. There are so many other things that I would just want to go for something that's just higher quality mostly just like one that will actually last me throughout the day and sadly these do not okay i know i just like shat on like philosophy a lot because the longevity is really bad but again i want to reiterate that like there are still some very good things about this brand i think their fragrances are really really great for layering with other fragrances so whenever i feel like i need just like a kick of like sweetness this is one that i reach for all the time and i just like also spray it and combine it with other fragrances because it really complements them i'm not gonna give a rating to like these individually i think i'm gonna give just like a entire brand rating which okay that's like definitely not fair because i haven't like smelled like all of them based on the several that i have smelled and kind of tested i would give philosophy a three out of five this is definitely a great brand to start with as you kind of just like get to smell more fragrances and kind of like get the wear of other perfumes these kind of fall off so yeah let me know what you guys think about philosophy what is your favorite fragrance from what is your favorite scent from their line yeah and let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to review and that is all thank you so much for being here and i will see you soon